Level 4 of the lockdown seems to have exposed a lot of confusion, especially within the law enforcement agencies, the municipality, as well as the informal traders in Madadiele. This is after law enforcement agencies confiscated vendors' permits and forced those not selling fruits and vegetables to shut their operations. On Friday, traders walked to the LED department of the municipality looking for clarity on the matter. They came back without any help and then visited the police station to negotiate so that they are allowed to operate. After the meeting, C. Pochafta, representing the vendors, told the informer that even the station commander is confused. What we must police is a permit. We use a single one. We use a tenuous. Such people is in this house tenuous. Such number tenuous. But we buy a permit. We buy a seat. We want to come to the place of fruit and veg. Mas es buzu guti guti nda ma permitenge wa pela ganjali wa fia ama polisa izo ma wa fia ama polisa na masocha izo lo afuna ma permit mas fesa ama permit jo ba banye beteng be tunge shang umnang tunge shang abanye ba ya pega abanye ba taisa umbo na abanye ba taisa impasha wa kama ma polisa ati le permit esi visa yo ayambela ni na le zinto es ba le le permit esi visa ayambela na le ndo esi zinza. We la posi sa tatu ste bo songo ti masi ambe si e ema e police stage si e siyo reporta go masi stage o masi stage u te masi panga na na e na e u ya manga la ngoba ama permit ya ba wenye zewe matatiela ati fruit and veg kuto ubona abantu be shiga be taisa zoki zitone zitilu ulu be senza yonke into enga si fruit and veg. Tobe Gami, live vendor who sells food in a container, complains that there are people who are cooking food in their houses and put it in their cars to sell. They are moving up and down the streets selling the food without permits. <laughs> Acting Municipal Manager Dr. Voyom Logoti says it is unfortunate that their permits were confiscated. The municipality, however, cannot accommodate them because it would be bending the rules and regulations of government. Well, with regard to the first question that has been posed, um, I wish to indicate that the issue of permits by the municipality is uh, guided by the national directives, national regulations of the various government departments that from time to time issue those kind of uh, mm -hmm. directives and regulations. Now, on the matter at hand, uh, what we did was to uh, provide guidance to the informal traders who were actually uh, upset about the fact that they couldn't actually trade uh, on their traditional goods or goods that they used to sell before. Uh, we did indicate that uh, those are forbidden for now. They can't actually sell those. The advice was that they must just sell the fruits and vegetables if they can um, so that uh, we are not uh, found to be contravention of the law. Now, it does look like they are actually not very happy with regard to that. They would still prefer that they continue with their old goodies that they used to sell, and that is not allowed. So there is no way that we can accommodate them and bend the rules and regulations of government and allow them to sell things that are not actually allowed to be sold on the streets. Reporting for the Informer, I am Kaya Gazi Chabilo.